Hi folks, Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Hey, we're coming to you with a review versus comparison, if you will, of three of the major smartwatches that are on the market right now. We don't have the Sony one. I've asked for it. Hopefully they'll send it. But we have three major phones here that are what we call smartwatches, and there's the smartwatches entry to the marketplace right now. So we have the Martian watches from martianwatches.com and uh, this is the Martian Victory, if you will. We have the Samsung Galaxy Gear watch, we'll get into that. And we have the Qualcomm Talk. So we have three of these different watches. We're gonna do a versus comparison right now so you can kind of see which one you might wanna buy. Now, all these are priced within the same price range, so we'll give you an idea. One thing I've found is that each individual watch has its own strengths, and if I can com combine them all and crush them into one, I think that would be ideal. But such is the nature of the business and the market, where certain ones you might like more than others, certain ones have features that others don't, etc., etc. We'll talk about that here in a second. Okay. So let's start off, we have the Martian Victory Watch. You can go to martianwatches.com, it's martianwatches.com. You can check out this watch and several other variations that they have. It comes in a multitude of colors, of course, as do, I believe, all these watches, including the Qualcomm Talk. I'm not really sure, you'll have to check their website for that. But I know that these two watches definitely do come in a multitude of colors. Uh, and the bands, pretty much, and kind of the design of the fascia. So, uh, we have the Martian uh, watch that we'll start off with. We have the Samsung Galaxy uh, smartwatch. Now, with the Gear watch for Samsung, you can only use this right now, uh, this is the recording of this video with the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, and the villain that's supposed to expand to the other Galaxy line. Also, we have the Qualcomm Talk. So, uh, let's do this. We're going to kind of move these a little bit to the side here, and we're going to start off by talking about the Martian watch. Now, it's a beautiful watch. It's a very heavy watch when you look at the size of it, et cetera, et cetera. It's really definitely heavy, and uh, I put this on a few female friends of mine and asked them what they thought. They didn't really think this would be a watch that would work for them because it's so big, especially for a woman's arm that is so small and dainty. Uh, it does look good on a man's wrist uh, because it's very manly and bulky and all that sort of good stuff that men like, you know. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, one issue that uh, seemed to be cited was with the female crowd was that yeah, it's a little too bulky and it is very heavy. If you can see, it's kind of sagging down. It's definitely got a lot to it. One of the biggest challenges we deal with with technology these days right now is you have to cram a lot of data and technology into these and they definitely are heavy. It's got a really nice band, very comfortable. I love the rubber band. I can sleep with it very easily, so I don't have a lot of problems if you want to leave this on constantly. Although I don't believe it's waterproof, so you may not want to take it in the shower, but I definitely feel very comfortable leaving it on my wrist overnight. Um, it's got an on-off switch here. Now, if you look at the fascia of it, it's got a permanent fascia uh, where it has a uh, permanent dial and the look of the dial. Now, with these other phones, you can change the looks of the dial, the looks of the presentation, whether you have time, weather, date, how it's presented, how it's presented in different colors. With the Martian Victory, you can't really change any of that. You're kind of stuck with this design that comes with it here. Now on it, you have uh, some several different features that are pretty interesting. You have a speaker. I'm not sure this is a speaker or the microphone, but I'm assuming this is a speaker and this is the microphone area. As you talk through Siri or your Galaxy uh, Samsung or Android device, it will speak through these two outputs and inputs. So you have that feature there. Uh, this is also shared, I might add, by the Samsung Galaxy Gear watch. but the one thing that is not audio and speaker enabled is the Qualcomm Talk. So this, of course, expands on the concept of what I mentioned earlier. Some phones have different features than others. So it's really up to you to determine what you want to take and do. You can actually charge this watch directly with a micro USB plug. You plug it in and away you go. Uh, and I got to tell you, it's very easy to operate. It's very comfortable to operate. I had a lot of fun with the Martian watch. Uh, in essence, 
you can go through and it will read out different uh, setups here. You can see our date and times. We can get up into a setup mode where you have camera mode. You can control the camera with this, uh, with this unit where you can basically download an app through Bluetooth uh, with your, uh, with your uh, phone. You can take and control the camera. You can control the shutter, tell it when to take pictures, which makes it very nice. Uh, and you can go through a myriad of different controls here, LED, you can actually find your phone if you want to ring your phone. You can put on a leash where it rings if you get within a certain distance. And of course you can see here we can adjust several different things. We can update the phone if it's plugged into USB and everything else. It's pretty nice. What it will do is it will take and read off to you emails as they come in. It will print them across this, the scrolling screen here. It's fairly limited because this is the screen that you're limited to. Uh, there's this little readout as it goes by and all that good stuff. And as you can see here, it's just basically uh, however it reads out and uh, however it comes up as we turn it on and off. Um, I like the Martian watch. It really is something where you have to look at what works good for you, what looks good for you, maybe what you want to have on your wrist, and also, uh, you know, some of the different variations and versions that we're going to talk about today. So, very good watch. Uh, you can go to Martian watches victorywatches.com they do have several different colors so you can find something that fits and looks good for you there um, it's really up to you what you want it to do I actually like the uh, Martian watch I was very surprised even though all this is fixed with the presentation of the time uh, I actually liked it it was great to talk through it uh, people could hear me you're actually talking through the watch and using the speaker through the watch on here so that's very cool let's move to the next one this is the Samsung Galaxy Gear, and uh, as I mentioned, you can also, much like the Martian, unlike the Qualcomm Talk, uh, you can use this. Uh, you've got the uh, audio, or I'm sorry, the audio that comes through of the speaker and the microphone. Now, what's very different between the Samsung Galaxy Gear and the Martian watch and the Qualcomm watch, if you're keeping score at home, is that there is actually a video recorder on the Samsung Galaxy smartwatch. There's a video recorder and a picture taker right here in the band. So very, very interesting in how it works. Now, the one, uh, the one feature about the Samsung Galaxy that's very glaring, that's very different than the Martian watch and the Qualcomm talk is the is the Galaxy Gear has its own app store and it has its own app star store in regards to the apps for the Samsung Galaxy Gear. So what's kind of weird is you have your Samsung Galaxy Android phone which has its own Play Store through uh, Google and then on top of that you have your own internal Samsung Galaxy Gear watch store. So you uh, put in a lot of different things you're seeing a setting come through here or a notification here now. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. So you get notifications through all these of your devices and usually with the apps you can download through them you can program them to send the notifications to your particular watch. So big difference there between these uh, the Qualcomm uh, does not have its own app store. It actually resides with downloading apps. There's not a lot of apps available to it. It's fairly new. They're working with developers. It looks like on the Qualcomm site. So there should be apps forthcoming, but there's no app store per se. With the Martian Watch, there's a app that you download from Martian Watches. It's very limited. Uh, not really, it's, it's kind of a weak presentation of an app, if you will. Uh, it looks like uh, the very basics of an app that you put together, but it is feature rich and will tell you what you want to take and do with your Androids. So let's get into this. With the uh, Samsung Galaxy Gear, you're looking at a thing where you can do several different th of things. You can do pictures, videos, you can look at notifications, you can use S Voice like Siri. Uh, voice memos, you can take a look at pictures that you've taken, of course, a video that you've taken, and you can send everything, of course, to your Note 3 or your Samsung Galaxy S4. There's an internal pentometer. You can go through settings. You can adjust the clock, and you can adjust the fascia of the clock that you want to take and do. 
however you want to make it look, whether you want to make it look digital or old and classic, et cetera, et cetera. You can take and do that also. Different alerts that you might want to have. It's got a whole different system to it. Now, it does have its own app store, as we mentioned, and it has some fairly popular ones in there. There's Banjo. There's uh, Evernote, Easy Do. Uh, you can do Find My Device, FB Quick View, Gallery. There's Path that's on here. Mini Square, which uh, logs into your uh, four square. Uh, we have Radio On, which will play music through your phone, which is uh, internet music, radio. Uh, Snapchat, of course, looks like it's on here. Timer, Tweet, Quick View. Uh, Zeit, ZD Clock, Weather, Voice Memo. All these different apps that you can have on here, and there's more coming, and they have their own app store. So it's very cool the way they have it set up. One thing I do find very limiting that is aggravating to me about the uh, Samsung Galaxy Gear is when I get notifications, I can't really read them. If you see what's going on here, for details, look at your mobile device. Well, one of the problems I have is is if I want my mobile device and I need to take and do that, why do I need the watch if I have to always be going to the phone? If you notice, it keeps telling me to go to the phone. Um, it's very irritating that way with the notifications. I can't really read the notifications that are on here, and that's a Skype call for those of you guys who decide to call that, so have fun with that. Uh, notifications. See, it keeps telling me the notifications. Even though I'm getting them, I have to go to my phone to read. This is one thing that I don't like about the Samsung Galaxy Gear. I can't really read most of my notifications. Now, it does have something called Facebook Quick View, and it has also Tweet quick view and I can take and get into those but even then they only list like the first I think 100 characters of the tweet or Facebook post and so I can't really read the comments that are being added I really am disappointed by that this thing will give you a whole lot more information on what the Gmail is but it kind of reads the whole Gmail out to you which is very annoying and uh, you know it reads everything on the Gmail uh, so the one thing I have enjoyed is the notification system on the Qualcomm Talk. And really, for me, it's one of the most saving measures of the Qualcomm Talk and makes it my favorite out of all three of these so far. Hopefully, they will do some adjustments on the Samsung Galaxy Gear. But what's nice is with the notifications that come in on the uh, Qualcomm Talk is I can usually read most of the information that does come in to me and uh, I really like that experience where I can actually read the notification. Who knew that I wanted to read notifications? So I really like that experience. You can see here, oh, Facebook, someone wrote a thing. Now, unfortunately, I still can't see the full notification. All I can see is there's a comment there in a group by a friend of mine and everything else. I really would like to read the whole comment because my idea of a smartphone is to get away from using this big giant phone that I have. I want everything to go through the watch. Now, <clears throat> let's get back on track here. The Samsung Galaxy uh, Gear has a massive problem that a lot of people complain about online. It has a very, very small band. You really want to test this band on your wrist before you buy this phone because a lot of people have complained about it. As you've seen, we've DIY hacked it with a hat thing to make it so that very big people like me with very large, large risks can get it on. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of people complaining about it online. They're very unhappy about it. They spent $350 for this uh, watch and they can't get around the wrist, which is very sad. So uh, other than that, I like the Samsung Galaxy Gear. Uh, it's very well thought out. It's got a whole lot of busyness going on to it when it comes to its operation. It probably is more feature rich than any of the three products that you see here before you when it comes to apps, app store, features, things that can do, elements that it has, setup option it has. I can, you can see here I can dial phones from here all that sort of good stuff. I would say feature rich wise when it comes to video, camera, all that sort of good stuff, there is more stuff in the Samsung Galaxy Gear and the Samsung Galaxy Gear wins on that front. Fortunately, you gotta make sure that it will fit your wrist and hopefully you don't like notifications much. Let's move on to the Qualcomm Talk. You can go to talk.qualcomm, that's talk.qualcomm to find this phone. With the yeah, Samsung Galaxy Gear, you go to at t.com and of course March and March. MartianWatches.com over here. Now, the Qualcomm 
Talk is fairly limited, does not have its own app store. You can download a few apps right now from the Play Store. I imagine that will change as this thing goes on. You can see here I can change the fascia to several different things. It actually has a tap feature where inside the band, I can tap the band. Let's see if we can make this so that you can see it. I can tap the band, and in doing so, I can turn on the light. Now we've got blaring lights, so I'm not sure that this is going to even... You're going to be able to register those. But you tap the band for light. Down here, you will tap for menu, and it can take you into different menu units. It comes with stock, status, notifications, settings, weather, music player, calendar, etc., etc. The music player is a lot of fun. You can tune it to any different music player that you take and want. And uh, it might be on your Android, which works really, really well. We'll show you that here in a second. You control the sound, volume, the skip, and all that good stuff. It'll actually play the title of the song. Your calendar is locked in. You have your hub for making contacts and all that good stuff. Uh, you got your weather. Uh, Let's see, stocks that come with it. Not a real lot of other features, though, beyond this that you can take and utilize. One thing that is limited by it is if you do power it off, you have to have the base to power back on. Where these two items, if I power them on, I can easily, uh, I'm sorry, if I power them off, I can easily power them on again. So, very limited there on the uh, Qualcomm Talk. Kind of something, a feature that I just really don't like. Um, but, you know, I got to tell you, it's the one band that I end up wearing the most, the Qualcomm Talk. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, you can see here we can do several different things, startup, software updates, et cetera, et cetera, and all that good stuff. All right, so here's the app for the Martian watches. It's fairly limited, as I mentioned before. You can choose different alerts you have. It kind of looks like cheap and junky and just uses the basic build of the uh, App Store Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Okay, so with the Qualcomm Talk, you can go in and do much of your preferences. Uh, you can adjust several different clock styles. You can see here. You can uh, adjust different icon styles. You can see uh, favorite applets. You can adjust uh, manage notifications. You can choose a lot of the Android products you have on your notifications. One thing we do want to point out is of this writing we don't have with the Qualcomm Talk the ability to run this through an Android system nor with the Galaxy uh, Galaxy Gear. But with the Martian Watch you can work it with an iOS device. So there you have some major differences between these two. You can add some quick replies to the Qualcomm Talk and uh, basically be able to give people stuff, but you can't really type text messages on the Qualcomm Talk. Weather, stocks, calendar, and some advanced settings you can take and do. Okay, so with the Galaxy Gear, you can see we have several different things we can add to it, different adjustments and everything else. There's even a Samsung Apps Store where you can go in and choose different apps, categories, basically within uh, its own system. And you can, of course, adjust all this stuff. You can choose from different clock faces, etc., etc. You can do a whole lot of adjustments. You can even, as soon as you take a picture or video with the Galaxy Gear, have it sent to your Samsung, or you can do it manually, whichever you want to take and do. You can adjust your notifications and customize them per your app on the Android. It's one of the beautiful things about having an Android is being able to do that customization of sharing and information. So, very cool between the three of these. I think uh, all in all, the Samsung Galaxy uh, smartwatch gear is the most advanced and most feature rich product. The Qualcomm Talk I definitely really enjoyed. Uh, it just doesn't have enough apps and enough things going on, but I think over the next year as it develops and more apps and developers in their SDK system bring apps to the market, they'll be able to provide a whole lot more with the phone. Uh, what's interesting is they're all three, of course, the same price. With the Martian Watch, you're pretty limited to what it gets. It's probably one of the first to come to market, uh, and I don't know how long it's been on the market, but it definitely uh, had a place probably ahead of these other two watches at one time, and now they've caught up. So it's really up to you what you want to take and do, and which uh, uh, watch works best for you. Hopefully you've enjoyed our in-depth comparison analysis that we've done of all three of these watches. So we have the Martian Victory Watch. You can go to martianwatches.com. We have the Samsung Galaxy Gear Watch. You can go to AT&T.com. You'll of course need to buy this with a AT&T Samsung Galaxy Note 3 or a Samsung Galaxy S4 in order to be able to utilize the watch. Make sure that you can fit in the watch band. Uh, we also have the Samsung, or I'm sorry, the Qualcomm Talk. 
the Qualcomm Talk is uh, found at talk.qualcomm.com. That's talk.qualcomm.com. I really like this uh, watch. I wish I had more apps. I like the notifications. The one thing that's really cool about the Samsung Talk is that it uh, has a very beautiful low light screen that can always stay on where this can't stay on and neither can the LED on this but the LED on the Qualcomm Talk can stay on it works great in some light conditions where the other two conditions you can't really see what's going on so I like this watch from the feature that what would happen was is I can always see the time the date and the weather with this watch where I couldn't with these and if I did I would have to turn them on and burn battery uh, where this is kind of designed to last for a long time. So like I say, you can kind of see after this long video we've done that each of these phones are feature rich, uh, but they have very differing features between them. And boy, sure, if I could smash them all into one, that would really be cool. But there we have it. Thanks for coming by the ChrisFoshShow.com. Be sure to give us a like, subscribe to us on YouTube. Check out the wonderful folks that have sent us these watches and their different lines and choose one that works best for you. Thanks for coming by.